Now the box looks heavy, but what's inside only weighs about 70 pounds. So what's inside? Well, you can see right here, it's an electric fat bike by Vitalin. It's the U7 foldable fat bike, which should be pretty cool because I've never owned a foldable one. Now for people new to my channel, my name is Steve and I am a drone pilot. And as a drone pilot, I use an awful lot of electronic things that are pretty cool and electronic modes of transportation like skateboards and scooters and fat bikes are pretty darn cool. So I have one to show you on this channel. So my plan is pretty simple. I'm going to take this out of the box. The company tells me it's pretty much ready to go out of the box. There's next to no assembly required. So we'll see that. I'll take it out, put it uh, together, the little I have to put together, and uh, I'll tell you all about it. Here we go. And I'll speed up this video so you don't have to watch me unbox it for like 10 minutes. So here we go. All right, I gotta say that probably took me all of maybe five minutes to get it into this shape. I have not read the instructions. There's a box there, there's probably instructions in it. I'm gonna give this company a 10 out of 10 for packaging and ease of assembly. It's already a bike, it's almost all ready to go. All right, let's put the pedals on and a few other things. So everything on this bike is just put together by friction. Friction holds things in place. Like on the seat, I tighten something, friction holds it in place. It can't move. Handlebars all the way up. Everything's adjustable that way. In this box, it says bike toolkit. And in here, this is where I'll find the instructions and other odds and ends to go on the bike. Like the pedals. Cables, some pedals. Looks like a toolkit. Here's your instructions. And this box at the bottom would be the charging unit uh, because you do have to charge up the battery. It says on a full charge, you can go 80 kilometers in distance, which is about 50, 55 miles that's if you're on flat ground now if you're going downhill uphill changing speeds you might knock it down to like 35 miles distance but uh, yeah there's a charger right here so for those that don't like reading manuals i will tell you right now this manual has really big colorful pictures in it and it does have a colorful display on top as it shows it in the picture so it shouldn't take very long to go through the manual to know where everything goes pedals are made out of metal not plastic which is a nice touch the pedals are marked left and right so you don't get them wrong they do give you some allen key and you'll need them to get this on the front of the bike. The screws are already in place. You just loosen them, put this on, tighten them back up. All right, so as I put on the very last piece, because I don't see any other pieces on the ground, all I can say is this bike is a dream to assemble. But I think the thing that's going to appeal to most people is going to be the fact that it folds up and the range. So next thing I'm going to do is charge up the battery. Then I'll give a full overview of this bike. To charge the battery, you can either bring it indoors or leave it on the bike. Just open the port on the battery, then plug in the battery charger, then plug the battery charger into the wall. And you'll notice on the battery charger, you'll get a green light that will switch to red. It will stay red until the battery is fully charged. My first charge took about two hours to fully charge the battery. Now this electric bike is one of the more popular electric bikes on the market because you get an awful lot for your money and everything you do receive is high quality. Let me show you all the components. Out of the box, the bike does come equipped with four inch fat tires, which are perfect for city driving and off-road driving because they have just the right amount of traction. The tires come pumped up to about 10 PSI, so you're gonna have to add some air to the tires before your first ride. I put 27 PSI in mine. Since this bike is designed to go off-road, it does not have spokes. It has solid aluminum metal rims. Hydraulic brakes are included in the front as well as the rear for outstanding stopping power. A nice touch is that you do get a front fender. Now, depending on your weight and how you ride your bike, you may want to adjust the adjustable forks up front. They do have preload and dampening. A headlight is included and it works very well at night as seen here. The front rack is made out of metal and it will come in very handy if you want to take your pets with you on a ride. Moving up the front stem of the bike, this is one of the levers you can use to cause your bike to become smaller in size in case you want to store it or transport it. If you need to raise, lower or remove the handlebars, this is the lever you use. This is the left brake handle and it is adjustable just by turning this tiny knob. A great feature on this bike are the turn signals. You can see them in action here. An electric horn is also included and it sounds like this. This is the main control panel for the electric portion of the bike and this is the main display. 
To power on the electric portion of the bike, hold down the power button for a few seconds. The main display will calibrate itself and then it's ready to go. Looking at the main display from top to bottom, we have the battery voltage, how fast you're going, your pedal assist level, and finally, information screen. By pressing the letter I on the main control panel, the information on the display screen will move through different portions, providing you with information about the ride you're taking now or the ride you have taken. Pressing the plus or minus button on the main control panel will either increase your pedal assist level or decrease your pedal assist level. To turn on the bike's headlight, just press the headlight button on the control panel. The light will come on, but the display will dim. Finally, the last thing to show you about the control panel is that you may wish to go into program mode so that you can change certain settings. Simply hold down the plus and minus button at the same time to go into program mode. Program mode one, as shown here by P1, allows you to change from imperial to metric. Back to our bike. On the right hand side you have a 7 speed Shimano shifter. This is your gear shifter to go into different speeds. So pressing the plus button increases speed and pushing the lever decreases speed. If you don't feel like pedaling, there is a throttle control. So just turn it and the bike will drive itself forward. And the final item on the right hand side of the handlebars would be another brake lever and it is adjustable as well. Moving down the frame of the bike, there is a metal water bottle holder, but you must provide your own water bottle. In the center of the frame is the lever that you use when you want to fold the bike in half for storage or for transport. Components on this bike are very high quality. Even the pedal assembly is fully made out of metal as well as the pedals themselves. The lithium ion battery is located in the center of the bike so it doesn't throw off the balance of the bike. The company says that in optimum conditions, the maximum range would be 55 miles, which is 88 kilometers on a single charge. To remove the battery, just pull up on the lever under the seat. The seat is adjustable with this lever. And speaking of the seat, it does have a shock absorber system in it, so your ride is very smooth. A second metal rack is located on the rear of the bike. As well in the rear, you can see the hydraulic disc brakes. The bike does come equipped with a rear side stand. A good quality, reliable Shimano 7-speed gearing system is included with the bike. So overall you can see, for the price you pay for this bike, you do get quite a lot. Now let's take it for a ride and let me tell you what I think about it. What's going to happen next is I'm going to take the bike for a quick ride to my local pet store and I have an Insta360 X3 360 degree camera sitting right here up front, which will capture everything. So that's the only camera I'm going to use. And while I'm riding, I'm going to give you my impressions of the bike as well as explain for newbies who have never driven an electric bike before exactly what's happening. All right, so here we go. I've set the pedal assist at level zero so there's no assistance and I have the Shimano speed indicator at number one so this is like driving a normal pedal bike so I'm driving in first gear very easy to do so if you ran out of battery power you could pedal this thing for miles with no effort whatsoever first item I've noticed already on this bike that would have been nice to have but most bikes don't come with them would be mirrors because I can't see what's behind me I'm in gear two still at pedal assist zero still easy to pedal let's go three Three is like three is like a normal bike. Yeah, I'd say this is like a normal bike pedaling. This bike has very little weight to it. It doesn't weigh a lot, so it's not a lot of effort to pedal this thing. All right, let's say I'm getting tired. I got to go into pedal assist one, so I'm gonna hit the little plus button on my control pad here. Plus, it's in pedal assist one, so I can feel. It feels like somebody's behind my bike, pushing me, giving me a little shove to get moving. But nah, you know on. Gear number three, which I'm on, I think I need a little bit more. So I'm gonna go pedal assist two, because I'm going into the wind. Probably hear it on my mic. That's pretty good. Let's try three. I think three is the one everybody likes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the good one. Whoa, baby. Okay, so on three, you have to be on a higher speed than three. So I'm gonna click it to four. It's gonna shift. There we go. Says right now on my speedometer, I'm doing 26, uh, 27 kilometers an hour. Let's go even up to a little faster. I'll put it on gear number five, but I'm still on pedal assist three. Yeah, we're moving now. Now, the next thing I'm gonna test before I go up to any higher pedal assist modes is the brakes. So I'm on a bit of straight way here. I'm going 29, 30 kilometers an hour, and I wanna stop right at this shadow, right here. Somebody's in my way. Oh, yeah. I didn't even put the brakes on full. Hydraulic brakes, no problem. I've come to a complete stop. If I was gonna pedal a normal bike in gear five, I'd be like, 
pushing really hard. But pedal assist is on on number three. So watch this. Here we go. It's going to throw me. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> No problem getting started. What I want to show you now is the throttle control. So I'm not pedaling right now. Watch this. I'm turning on the throttle and it is carrying me forward. So no pedaling on my behalf. It's just basically throttle control. And it keeps me at a constant speed of 28 kilometers per hour, which is pretty sweet. If I want to go faster, I have to turn up the pedal assist. So let's go plus here. There we go, the number four. Woo -hoo. Now I'm a rocket. <laughs> now I'm going max speed. 37, 38 kilometers an hour. So let's see how good it is to go uh, off-road. I'm going to go from one path to another path here going off-road. So we're going off-road right now. <laughs> going down, off-road. You know what? It, it feels bumpy, but the shock absorbers in the seat and everything are doing a great job. So now I'm going up a hill and the pedal assist is pulling me up the hill, no problem. And that's in gear number three and pedal assist number two. Here I am making the journey to my local pet store so that I can pick up bird seed for my backyard bird feeder. So now that I park the bike, I'm gonna shut it off. Bike's off, turn the key. All right, I'm using my cell phone for this just so I can show what it looks like. From the back, there's the cargo net holding on the bird seat. Now I should also mention if you're new to electric bikes and you're kind of worried about the pedal assist or the throttle control, as soon as you touch the brake, either brake, uh, everything shuts off so you have no worries. It goes back into a normal bike. And uh, there we go, we're back. Well, the bird seat did survive on the back with the little cargo net, so that's good. All right, so that was an awesome ride. All right, so the next thing to do is uh, go for a ride again, but this time I should let my wife take it for a ride. This is the U7, and this is my wife, Nikki, who is gonna try this bike out for the very first time. Now, she's not a cyclist, so driving this bike will be your first bike that you're driving for the year 2023, is that correct? Absolutely. All right. All right, Nikki, what do you think of the bike so far? It's awesome. It really has some good pep and it feels really solid. I love pedal assist because you're such a fast rider. Uh, it allowed me to catch up. And if my legs got tired, I could uh, just kind of go with the flow. Uh, really easy to use. Now we're out with the bike and I have my son, Corey, and his wife, Anna, my daughter-in-law, and they are gonna take this bike for a ride because I'm actually giving them this bike because Corey needs a bike to commute to work and this is gonna be perfect. So they're gonna ride it for the very first time now. This is the reason Corey and Anna are not wearing a helmet because I have a helmet, but it doesn't seem to fit the hands. Yeah, it's sort of on there. Too no. smart. Too smart. Too much knowledge. Oh, too much brain in there. No pedaling. So, uh, what do you think on your quick assessment? It has a lot of power. All right, Anna, did you want to sit on it? Yeah, it let's try. All right, so uh, Corey, set it up for Anna. So, what do you think? It's so fun, fast, very fast too. So are you gonna use this for heading to work, Corey? Um, yeah. I'll give it a try tomorrow, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about this bike, I'm going to put links below to the website. Go check it out. It's not super expensive. You get an awful lot for your money. And I can tell you right away, if you buy this bike, you're going to love it because both of these individuals here are still smiling. They really like it and they're going to use the heck out of this. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future one. Bye.